Hey guys, Arcane Night 94 here, Joseph here, and basically E3 is over. Uh, I watched the whole 24 hour footage and I wasn't really paying that much attention to day three. But uh, this is pretty much my wrap up, my overall key points, big hits of E3 uh, as far as my personal opinion. Uh, personally, as far as the Microsoft side goes, I'm going to take it company by company. I'm really excited to see. Uh, Reach. That is the game over all the other games they showcase. I'm really excited about Reach. They've been pumping this up with a lot of hype uh, lately. And I mean, I just can't wait. They're going to deliver. I can feel it. They're, the campaign looks like nothing I've ever seen before as far as graphics and as far as gameplay in the Halo franchise. It just looks like something we're all ready for. And we've probably, like, it's a good way to hint in the Halo series. So I'm really excited about Reach. And you guys better be definite prepare for some major footage as soon as it drops uh, as far as um, Halo 3 videos go by the way they'll be back up um, I'm also really excited uh, with their dueling with connect I mean these are the I mean there's three things I'm excited about reach connect and usually people say well connect doesn't look that great I'm people say I'm not buying connect but the reason I want to buy connect is just the just the personal futuristic personal aspect of the uh, features and not the games yet I mean the games they will come in 2011 trust me they'll come and that's when the purchase will start but uh, as far as uh, just through Christmas and uh, off to the beginning of 2011 I'm really excited to use that video chat feature the ESPN thing the um, just the whole voice communication video chat and just the whole using your body to communicate with your system feature that is something I'm really excited about another thing probably one of the most biggest impacts that nobody's really making a big deal about but uh, I'm pretty excited about is the 360 slim 250 gigabyte increased hard drive space slim down model all black touch responsive beep uh, beep confirmation noises silent uh, silent processor or whatever I'm ready for this I am definitely getting one of these 300 bucks I'm throwing it down as soon as possible I'm ready for the 360 slim uh, as far as what uh, EA and Ubisoft show Assassin's Creed come on multiplayer they showcase that in day three I can't say that I'm like I know exactly what's going on but it looks like something I want to be a part of I want to walk around the streets just assassinating my friends hidden around the whole place and just like trail them that is going to be something I'm looking forward to being hunted and being the hunter I just I just I mean the way they integrated that just looks pretty epic and the gameplay just to see how they're gonna um, continue the story of Assassin's Creed because everybody loves the A Creed story so I'm pretty excited about that I'm really I'm actually kinda uh, interested in Need for Speed Carbon to say the least it looks pretty looks pretty interesting I mean Death Space 2 looks like a hard hitter uh, I mean pretty much they, they they just they showcase some really good titles but as far as I'm concerned Need for Speed Carbon is something to look at Death Space 2 is something to look at and Assassin's Creed is definitely something to look at I mean all the other titles are crazy looking uh, especially Medal of Honor that's one you really wanna uh, take a look at I wanted to save it for uh, Sony but Medal of Honor it looks like they're spicing up the Call of Duty franchise in like their own crazy way it's something to definitely be aware of uh, it's definitely gonna hit hard later the holidays or next yeah later in the holidays it's gonna hit hard um, Sony I gotta say Killzone 3 people are, people are gonna be excited about this Killzone 3 and uh, I mean, Crisis 2 looks pretty hardcore. It looks really good. Really, 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 really good. Looks like a really nice game. And I mean, they didn't announce too many titles that I just freaked out about, but Portal 2. I mean, just, I mean I'm kind of upset that um, Valve switched over to Sony. We're supposed to be exclusive 360, but hey, it doesn't matter. I might get a PS3. I have a 360 as long as they're still on 360 I am excited about Portal 2 especially the integrated multiplayer I want to see how that works out um, 
3D, not excited about it all. Just not working for me. The move, the Sorcerer game, I'm really interested to see how that's going to play. Oh, it looks really crazy, especially when he drunk the Persian, turned into a rat. Whoa, that was a beast. But, um, yeah, I enjoy, uh, I enjoy looking at the gameplay for Sorcerer. So, yeah, Nintendo, everybody's excited about Zelda. You know, that's, that's just usual. It looks like Twilight Princess, and Twilight Princess, uh, literally, I can say maybe one, I own maybe six Wii games. Twilight Princess is almost down, hands down the best. Competes right with Mario Galaxy, Twilight Princess, Mario Galaxy, then it comes in uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Those are some great titles. And I'm, I'm really interested to see how um, uh, Skyward Sword is going to play out. It looks really fun. Don't know yet if I'm going to get it because I don't feel like buying the Motion Plus, but it looks like a pretty darn good game. Um, 3DS looks freaking epic. No glasses. Come on. And Kid Icarus. Come on. Pit is back. Kid Icarus looks hot. Everybody's... Everybody already knows about Metroid M. There wasn't too much coverage on that, but you know, it's coming out, it's gonna hit hard. Uh, GoldenEye. I'm, come on, GoldenEye. You gotta love the James Bond. They're finally bringing it back. Uh, and I'm just freaking excited about all these titles, and I'm boring myself here, so let me just pump it up. But uh, yeah, other than that, a game people are really excited about. Rage looks amazing. Looks like the great gameplay would be amazing. It just looks hot. I'm definitely picking that up. It looks like kind of like a mixture of Borderlands. All that stuff that I said in the other video looks hot. Check out uh, E3 video, other uh, E3 Day 2 video on my channel so you can uh, hear me talk about Rage. Um, also excited about a lot of other titles. Basically just... Just look at my other two E3 videos. They look really good. All the stuff I cover just really blows my mind. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Medal of Honor. I already talked about that. Futuristic Call of Duty looking junk. Looks hot. Assassin's Creed multiplayer. I don't know. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So this wraps up uh, the E3 coverage. I'm definitely going to try to get more gameplay videos out just because, I mean, I don't know, just because I want more gameplay videos out. I haven't played Halo in literally a month or two, so once I get back in the swing of that, I'm going to start killing, put out the gameplay videos hot. My cousin gets Gears of War, we're going to have a lot of wingman matches up here. You are going to love the wingman matches. They go hard. So basically... RK994 out for now. I'm probably going to upload some Halo videos if I can tomorrow or if not tomorrow, Sunday or late Saturday. So, hey guys, uh, I'm out. Hope you guys enjoy E3. I know I did. 360 Slim. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later.